What's going on guys? Just wanted to make this real quick clip. Let y'all know today it's pour, been pouring rain all morning. So it did not turn out to be as I planned. I normally check the weather channel and I did not check it last night. So I um, woke up this morning and it's just been pouring. It finally eased off a little, but guys, it's so wet. We're not gonna do anything. But uh, I'm at the local Ford dealership here and uh, the collision center so they are going to go ahead and keep my truck to uh, get an actual evaluation of the damages and what that noise is that it's making inside the engine and um, go ahead and get all this checked out and this is all dented in and this is busted up right here and then this is busted up right here the bottom so there we're waiting on my rental guys my rentals coming in um, Let's go over here, Justin. Uh, Justin's with me today. We were we didn't know that they were gonna have to keep my truck, so they're getting me a rental. So it should be here in a couple minutes, I guess. <coughs> so I figured we'll walk down here and look at some of the F-250s that uh, I might end up getting soon. So um, it sucks, guys. I had to. I'm having to call all the customers, tell everybody we're not gonna make it today. It screws up the whole week. So I told the guys, don't be surprised if we have to work Sunday because we are getting a day off today. But uh, I hope not, but I hope we'll be able to squeeze everything in by Saturday, but we'll see. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and look at some of these F-250s down here. They have them way in the back, straight ahead down there, you can see. And uh, I'll make a few little, record a little bit and just kind of show you guys what I'm looking at. I, I'm not really set on any single one of them. I mean, a particular one, I just, the less fancier, honestly, the better, because it's just gonna turn into a work truck and I don't wanna buy nothing nice. These are all F-150s, they're beautiful, but not for me, for what I need. Um, you know, the less nicer, the less fancier, the better, because it's just gonna turn into a work truck, so uh, anything, if it's, you know, power windows, power locks, I don't really care if, if it's like a package, but everything else is good, then that's fine. But for all I care, it could be manual, so. But, anyway. Well, here they are, Justin, from what I'm seeing. These are the uh, 2017 F-250s right here. Uh, there's the white ones, let's go down to the white ones. By the way, guys, it's a personal preference, I guess, but to me, I prefer to have a white vehicle for business. Um, I don't know, it's just something I think it's, it, I mean, when you think about it, any company you call, they're gonna show up in a white van, white pickup truck, white, you know what I mean? So, is that a dually? Haha, <laughs> look at that. This is the F-350, Justin. F-350, but that, this is so fancy. Look at the inside, man. That's the Platinum FX4. I don't even want to know what this costs. They don't have that many options here compared to the one that downtown. Oh, $80,260. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> you know what? And, and it's just so nice and it's too fancy. Like I would be devastated to turn this into a work truck i would keep everyone on eggshells dude don't scratch don't get any grass in <laughs> something like this would be fine right there but the bed is what would have to change can't have that bed i don't know that bed might work out <laughs> <laughs> And see, this this is more of a reasonable price, guys. Thirty nine thousand, forty thousand, basically. I mean, that's that's more reasonable. But that truck is double that. You know. Look at that. That's pretty nice, dude. Gas cans. Store all kinds of stuff. How much bed? How much bed do we have? There's a pretty decent amount of bed. Look at that. I don't know. Hey, at least the stuff would fit. The stuff would fit? Would no, it wouldn't fit. The push mower and all that it stuff, no. Do you think so? Yeah. 
And it wouldn't fall out or nothing. And then you get all these little things on the side for like tools and... I don't know. I, I don't know if I would get a bed like this. I mean, it's a good bed. I think this is more for like plumbers maybe or electricians or something like that. I don't know. But the cab is perfect. This is this is what I'm looking for. See, it's, it's basic inside. There's nothing too fancy, but... And this is a... Uh, it does have seats in the back. Look at that. But it is the XL. I think there is there is another dealership downtown, guys, and um, it's uh, they actually have a truck town. So like, like they have the, the car lot, and then like right across the street they have just a truck town where it's nothing but trucks. That's probably where I'll go. They have more options, but figure we look at some while we're waiting for my rental. But. I mean, these are all nice, super, super nice. Just too fancy. If I was buying it just for around the house or yeah. just enjoying it for the family or something, perfect. But I'd hate to turn one of these into a work truck. The red, the red's nice. Beautiful. All right, guys, I'll, uh, I'll hit record when I get the rental in, see what they give me. And I'll show you guys. And uh, other than that, it's just going to be getting ready for tomorrow. No work today with all the rain. So talk to you guys later. Check this one out, guys. It's a Roush Mustang. Oh, my God. Maybe when I get older and the kids are in college and I'm done with everything, this is what I'll buy. <laughs> Look at the... Look at the inside, guys. Oh, man. What a beauty, huh? Oh, this is somebody's car. Yeah, I think it's somebody who works here because it's already registered. I mean, it's got a tag on it, and that's beautiful. Still doesn't hurt to admire and dream, right? And dream, right? <laughs> All right, guys, see ya. What's going on guys uh, this is the truck they gave me for uh, putting mine in the shop to get uh, the bumper fixed the grill and then check out what's a uh, with that engine noise that it's making so they gave me this one they gave me the 2017 right here it's a rental but uh, her insurance is covering everything, so that's good. They're taking care of me, basically, so it's actually a really good experience uh, with the whole thing. Glad nobody got hurt, and uh, it's uh, it's pretty good. So, sorry, I was reading a piece of paper. <laughs> um, they're um, so they don't know how long they're gonna have my car or my truck, and. Um, so they told me I keep this as long as they need to keep my vehicle. So, but they're gonna look at what's up with that engine. They think it's some kind of a fan or a pulley that got thrown off when uh, she pumped me. Uh, they're gonna look to order those special grill because it is a it's not a factory grill. Uh, that's a bulletin grill, the top piece and the bottom. So they're gonna go ahead and look at that to see if they can reorder a new one and maybe give me a new bumper or fix that one that's crap I don't I don't know so they'll they'll keep me posted I guess and let me know but other than that they're at least they're taking care of me <coughs> not a big deal at all but uh, they gave me a nice truck they gave me a nice truck and this is the back I actually stopped at the dealership where my uh, back right here this is what this is what I need guys I need exactly this a four-door but an f-250 <laughs> So I stopped at the, I had to get a couple of, couple of things. I got a lot of these. I got five of these right here. Uh, and if you guys know, some of you may know what this is. Some of you may not. And if you don't, let's see if it'll focus. There you go. This is the grease fittings on your mower. And so this is uh, uh, the old ones, guys, sometimes they get dirt in them and stuff and 
when I try to grease them up, it won't go in. It's just squirting out. So um, I think just over time, dirt builds in there or something. So you can clean those guys. You don't have to go out and buy a new one. I don't want to fool with it for a dollar. So I just get new ones. Uh, and then we had a wheel come off on the walk behind. I didn't get the recorded. So I ended up getting these because we lost this one. And basically what this is, it's a pin where it locks in the front uh, where the wheel is. So I ended up getting three of them just because I'd, ra I, you know, I'd rather have some extras. So anyway, so I'm gonna leave that back there, but there she is. They gave me, it's a 2017 F-150. Six thousand eight hundred and thirty nine miles, so it's practically brand new. There you go. It's a good truck. It's a Ford, that's all that matters, right? But, uh, figured I'd uh, pop the hood and show you guys. I think it is a V6 EcoBoost, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't look under the hood yet, so I don't know. Oh, this is nice. See how this, the grill doesn't go up with it? I like that. It's kind of like my, uh, my 2014. My 2009, the grill comes up with it, and it's, I, I'm not a fan of that. All right, let's just see where it's at. There we go. So, it is a 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost. So, I mean, it, it's a smooth truck, guys. It's new. It runs beautiful. But there it is. So, we're not working today. I mean, could we have worked right now? Yeah, probably. But um, it's dried up somewhat, but it's still pretty wet. I, I just don't want to risk it. So, yeah, I've made I've made the call, guys. To go ahead and just um, to go ahead and just call it a day, you know. I called everyone, texted everyone, rescheduled to tomorrow. So we're gonna be falling behind one day this week. Hopefully, we'll keep caught up tomorrow and be back Tuesday on a regular basis. So it is what it is. Don't have much to show you today, of course, content-wise. We're not.